right, this is topic three, lesson one, example two, um, understand the end behavior of the polynomial function. And hello, everybody. Sorry, I did not come in with my usual in, uh, hello. So how do the signs of the leading coefficient and the degree of a polynomial affect the end behavior of the graph of the polynomial function? I know I've been saying this um, a couple of times, but if I had, let's say the leading coefficient was negative, then what I would look at is um, my end behavior on the right side. So if this is my graph, and I'm looking at, I don't know, something like this, my end behavior on the right side would be pointing down to negative infinity. If my leading coefficient was positive, then the end arrow, the right arrow, or the end of my graph on the right side would be pointing to positive infinity. All right. And then if you have odd degrees, and I figured they'd probably have the graphs here so it's easier for you guys to follow. If you have odd degrees, then your arrows are pointing in opposite directions. So the end behavior is similar to the linear parent function, f of x equals x. So the way we write this, and again, I've mentioned this several times, mathematicians, like to shorthand things. So what this is saying is this is saying as x goes to positive infinity. So looking at your graph, here's my x-axis. And as my x-axis goes in the direction of positive infinity, we're looking at the right side of the graph because again, positive infinity is on the right. My y arrow or end behavior will go up to positive infinity. So here's positive infinity for y. This one's saying as x goes to negative infinity. So again, we're looking at the left side. So this is saying, when you look at the left side of the graph, what is the y values, which direction are we going in the y values? Well, the y values are going into the negative y direction. So we're going downward. All right, so these are for any odd exponents. Anything like that. You would have arrows pointing in the opposite. Notice how they are in the opposite direction. I notice here they are in the opposite direction even degrees. All right, so let's go there on the graph. The end behavior is similar to the quadratic parent function of x squared. So as x approaches the right side of the graph, we are going upward. So here we go, we're going to go to the right side of the graph, and my arrow itself is going to be pointed upward. As x goes to the left side of the graph, so if we, as we observe the left side of the graph, then y also goes to positive infinity. So when you have an even degree, your end behaviors are both pointing up. All right, so here we go. Here is my even degrees. So again, if we go to the right, this is saying go to the right. My graph is going pointing upwards. This one's saying as we go left, my graph itself is also pointing up. Like that. Okay, an odd degree negative leading coefficient. Remember I told you before, with a negative leading coefficient, the right arrow, the arrow going to the right will be pointing downward. 
So again, this is saying as X goes to the left, right is going down. And this is saying, oh, sorry, as X goes to the right, the arrow is pointing down. As X goes to the left, your Y arrow, or your arrow is pointing up. And we get the, the, the sign of the leading coefficient by this right side. So if I had something that looked like this, and the right end arrow is pointing downward, I know that my leading coefficient is going to be negative. Alrighty. And then an even degree, again, notice how with a negative leading coefficient, it's going down into the negatives. And while up here, it's going up into the positive. So positive leading coefficient gives that right arrow up to the positive. Negative leading coefficient gives that right arrow into the negatives. All right, so there you go. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video.